West Sacramento bridge installation uh, site. This is a, a 16 foot tall, 300 foot long aqua dam. And it will be going into the water channel over there. Two 16 foot tall aqua dams will be used to isolate the work area uh, to allow for dewatering. Earth uh, pads have been prepared for the starting point and ending point of each aqua dam. All the vegetation uh, on the bank has been grubbed. This is to allow a good seal to the bottom of the aqua dam to each bank. To the left side of the work area is uh, tidally influenced waters which seep and leak through the lock system, which feeds water to the right during high tide and uh, flows out to the right during high tide. So the flow's going left to right. The second 16 foot tall, 335 foot long aqua dam has arrived to the site, along with two smaller eight foot tall aqua dams, which may be used to back up the 16 foot tall aqua dams. The contractor has set up two six inch uh, pumps. Moving the 16 foot high aqua dam into place. Now I think the dam is square to that bank over there, and that's what we we're trying for. Okay, set it down on the ground, and we'll cut the ropes on it. We will begin by putting the discharge hoses of the pumps into the fill tubes of the aqua dam. The aqua dam needs to be adjusted more towards the left so that we get a better uh, ending on the other bank. So a little tweak now to the uh, position of the aqua dam uh, is a lot easier than trying to tweak it once we get water in, inside it. two pumps, two discharge hoses, one in each of the two filled tubes of the aqua dam, left and right. The aqua dam has unrolled 
almost all the way across the channel except for the last 20 feet. We have stopped pumping on the aqua dam uh, to leave open a channel of flow between the left and the right side of the aqua dam into what will be the work area. That is because the contractor's pumps are within the work area and um, if we isolate the work area, there's not enough water in the work area to fill both this aqua dam and the second 16 foot tall aqua dam. The first 16 foot tall aqua dam has been stopped pumping on. The closed end has been tied back with a multitude of ropes to the bottom seam and also to the log that it's rolled up on. To this single half inch rope <laughs> tied back to the bulldozer. Also the open end of the aqua dam is tied back to prevent slippage down the slope as the aqua dam fits. The second 16 foot tall aqua dam has been uh, walked down the slope and is now being held by two excavators. It will be positioned to its starting point and then uh, unrolled to expose the fill tubes. As the tide comes in, the head of aqua dam inside the aqua dam uh, dissipates, reduces, and in fact you can see part of the aqua dam there in the deeper end in the middle has actually become flaccid uh, in the water. So time to put more water in the aqua dam. All we need to do is keep it a couple of inches taller than the surrounding water and we will have achieved uh, control and independence from the surrounding water column. Sharp sticks and logs and branches are being cleared from the path of the aqua dam. These present puncture hazards, which uh, might compromise the integrity of the aqua dam, as well as potentially causing leakage, requiring maintenance pumping. We have continued pumping water into the aqua dam. The two ropes which were restraining it are now cable tight. And uh, we will continue to build head in the aqua dam until the ropes break, at which point the aqua dam will rush forward, roll up against the bank, and isolate the work area. We only want to do this once the work area is at high tide levels. We've set up our gas-powered three-inch discharge pumps. We'll be pumping into the one tube on one side of the aqua dam. This is to give us access to the body of water here on the left, 
so we can draw from it instead of drawing from the body of water on the right, which will be isolated once this aquadam is fully enrolled bank to bank. Day two for the West Sacramento 16 foot tall aquadam and uh, it's being pumped full. Once it's full, we'll move the pumps and begin on that aquadam. The 16 foot tall aquadam has been uh, pumped full. Both sides are even, and now we will be uh, moving the pumps so we can start filling bag number two. Again, two chambers side by side, and they should both be filled equally during installation. The second aquadam is going off the bank at an angle. In order to correct the deviation, of course, of the aquadam, uh, we're going to use the excavator and rope to pull on one end of the aquadam. As the aqua dam unrolls, the tie-off point goes underwater beneath the aqua dam. We tie it off to the bottom seam of the aqua dam. And the excavator's just holding the rope there until that knot gets in place. And then once the bottom seam's on the floor, then, uh, then the aqua dam's not moving again. Now the aqua dam is at a much better angle to the bank. It's gonna hit. It's going like that. Where before, we were cocked over to the side like that. The aqua dam was being unequally pumped. The outer tube, with the right side tube, has uh, deflected the course of the aqua dam because it filled up quicker, which has uh, put us cockeyed to the bank. It's important to be square with the bank because. That's uh, where you get the most uh, support for your, the end of the aquadam. The aquadam is floating right now. I uh, see the standing water on top. So it's buoyant in the water. No influence or separation between it and the local bo uh, body of water. We should be able to just slowly pull it until we get the appropriate angle uh, on the face to marry up to the bank. The pumps have been started. They are filling the inner tubes of the aqua dam equally. Uh, after we pulled the roll back to straighten it out to the, in relation to the bank. And now the aqua dam will continue to unroll, hitting the bank at the angle that we want. The rope is being passed around the end of the aqua dam log. It will be used to completely encircle the aqua dam which will tie off to at a later point to uh, stop the aqua dam from rolling out. Now that the circular rope has been connected to itself, we're cutting tie back ropes to tie the bottom seam of the aqua dam back to the uh, encircling rope on the aqua dam. At that point, we will allow this temporary holding rope to break or we'll cut it and then the aqua dam will roll forward until uh, held back again by the new set of ropes. So 
all these ropes acting in uh, conjunction will hold back the roll of Aquadam uh, as it continues to fill. The second aqua dam has unrolled to the bank and is filling. There's approximately two feet of head in this aqua dam. Approximately one month into the job.